ambush. Yeah, it was during the time, man, when uh, Wayne got killed. He was dead. You know what I'm saying? And I, take, I was taking over the thing. And uh, I pull up on Narn. It's very unusual. I pull up on Narn to, you know, because I was staying with Grandma Helen, my, my, my wife's mother and her, you know what I'm saying? And uh -huh. that's actually my girlfriend, of course. So, uh, so, uh, I, I, I see my mother cry, so I'm, what's going on? I think something's wrong. But, you know, something happened to my grandmother, little sister, little brother, sometimes I go in there. When I go in there, they, they in the living room, and they say, baby, come here for me, we want to talk to you. Like, what's going on, mama? Everybody all right? She like, yeah, everybody's fine, you know what I'm saying? But me and Helen, because she, you know, they on first name basis, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mothers and mother-in-laws and stuff. She said, me and Helen and Lisa was just talking. And it's been heavy on our minds. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now they like surrounding like a like, in a like Indians yeah. surrounding them a uh, stagecoach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's we think that you, Lisa, and DeMar should leave town. Just pack up and leave. I'm like, what are you saying, Mom? Talking about my oldest son in this time, DeMar. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I'm like, what, what, what are y'all talking about? Well, you know this guy Butch, he, he, he's a bad man. I'm like, Mama, listen, I'm not scared of Butch, Mama. And this time we'd already had North Man meet. I said, he bleed red blood like I bleed, mama. You know what I'm saying? I said, mama, I can't believe this, that you telling me to run. You the same woman when we stayed over on Warren in Northfield, and the guy chased me home. You know what I'm saying? You made me go out there and fight and said, don't you never let nobody chase you away from your home. So you telling me to run from my home, not my city? I teared up still. It hurt my feelings that my mama would think that I was such a coward that I would run. I know she, not thinking I'm a coward, she just, Try to protect me because yeah. she know she don't know how my mother don't know how I become in the streets. Right. She thinking of little Peppy, Peppy, James, Peppy. Right. Peppy you know what I'm saying? And she's heard Bush ate at my mama's house, mm. and she's seen this big black scary looking guy, and this is all she's seen. This and a grown she's man. She's probably and, heard about this guy on the news. Come on, she heard. Yeah. She know about. It. You know what I'm saying? So she figuring that baby run. I'm like, Mama, listen, I'm not going to run. Lisa said, maybe we should leave. I was like, no, I'm not leaving. You know what I'm saying? That man bleed red blood like I bleed. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. scared of him. You know what I'm saying? And that was the ambush that you're talking about, man. And it hurt me. I, 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 I teared up, man, because I could believe my own mother and stuff. And I know she was doing it out of, out of a Valor, concern, concern, concern yeah. for me, because she don't know what I'm capable of or what I have done since I've been in the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? Butch is sending me on missions. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 she don't know these things. You don't, right. you, don't you don't tell your mother the things you have done in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a young man. So she don't know the, the shit that I had done in the streets. Yeah. That made me where I wasn't scared. I know a man bleed red blood like me. So at that point, like I said, when I met, Bush in Northland. Man, I said, once I realized I wasn't scared of Bush Jones no more, man, I'm not scared of no man. No man. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody make me run but the police. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look in front of me, like I said earlier, you ain't gonna look far. Just don't let me know you're looking for me. Your best bet is to keep it quiet and come get me. Cause he let me know you looking for me. You ain't gonna look far. I'm gonna be where you least expect it. In your bushes waiting for you to come home. Right. Or up under your car. As soon as you roll out, come out your house, I'm gonna roll from under your car and you do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? See, my mama don't know this. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been taught by this man. I've been taught by Raymond. I've been taught by Wayne. I've been taught by Butch. I've been taught by Chestnut. I've been taught by Brett. All these people that I gained this knowledge from. They were people to be well respected. Believe me when I say this. Right. For you that think that Butch is whatever, 
people, I know I heard videos of people no. saying Bush is a bitch. No, listen, don't believe that. Please don't. And I'm not saying this, you understand, out of, I am saying it out of respect for Bush. But not out of fear. Not out of fear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it out of respect because I know the man. You know what I'm saying? The man is nothing to play with, believe me. So all these people out here talking about what they would do or what they wouldn't do with Bush, that's because he's locked up. You know what I'm saying? And he's sick now or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If he's on the street, these niggas would be like church mice. Not saying nothing. If there was a time I, I, I ran into somebody who used to be down with him. And he, and he was, I don't know if you remember this. this about to wine. <laughs> and he was dogging the other Butch out. And I came back and told him. And he was like, man, Butch came home today or tomorrow. Them niggas will fall in line. Come he on, came man. home, I think, in 96. And the same guy, I swear I ran into him. He's like, man, you know the guy home. You know. And I thought about what you said. Like you said, man, the guys, they talk about what they would do, this is that, other, because he's away. The man reputation, I never met him, but his reputation proceeded itself. This, why well, yeah, that over 300 murders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in the rain. Believe me. I know what he will do and what he's capable of doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's definitely, listen, Woods was a master chess player. And he played the game, the drug game, like a chess game. His favorite word was chess, checkmate in the game. Mm. You crossed him and he caught you up. It was checkmate. When he say checkmate, he out of here. Whether he done it or the A team got you, it was checkmate. And that's how he played. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the situation, like we're gonna talk about decisions. Decisions, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Decisions can change not only one person's life, but multiple people's lives. The decision that I made that day in the Brewster Projects, when Bush sent Lug here down there and told me to check in the keys in my Jeep, I've been traded to Raymond. You know what I'm saying? After me and Timmy had been partners and we had run in the city. The decision right then, Change the nucleus of many people's lives. Mm -hmm. Cause if I would have gave my keys to love here, we wouldn't be sitting here talking now, having this this podcast, right? This real talk with Skip and Pepsi, right? I wouldn't have a story to tell. My story started when I denied giving my keys to love here, cause then, you know, cause Butch was known for what. If he make you, he break you. But now we go back to the ride. With me, Bush, and Rain. He said that you're a leader. This is about Bush mouth. And I'm with Bush. I'm not with Raymond, I'm with Butch. He says, listen, you're a leader, you big. Well, never. He said, never. He said, never. Let nobody take anything from you. But he didn't say except me. So when it came down to him taking my G that I earned, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I decided, you know, you're not taking this G. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you play chess. You made the wrong move, but you sent a pawn down there to fuck with a knife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Now right. if the king would have came, the king would have came himself. Been a different story, right? Would, like I said, we probably wouldn't have this story because I'm not going to sit up here and sugarcoat nothing. This is ain't what real talk is about. I'm giving you the real. I was scared of Butch. As so Wayne and Raymond, they were my mentors that are older than me. They teaching me the game. They the, they the, they the, they the, they the, they the gangsters. Teaching right. us how to be gangsters. Right. You know what I'm saying? That Butch came down there. <laughs> you drop, drop him in his hands. And you know why? The same niggas that left with me that day in the Brewsters, because Butch didn't come and was lugged in, would have been the same niggas that Butch, if I said, no, nah, big boy, you ain't getting my key. And he stole on me. They'd have turned Man, on Man, they were turned on me. Not my idea. They were just turned on me. You know what I'm saying? And been stopping me along with Butch. Yeah. 
about what's not being that it gave him the courage to lead with me. And, you know and, and see, and that's what you right. Right. Let me just finish that. Go ahead. That decision right there, we're talking about decisions right now. Right. That decision I made right now was made a chain, a chain of events. I ended up in getting with, I did get with Wayne, but I ended up bottom line back with Wayne. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Wayne, I get in trouble, Wayne sends me to Boston. I did, you see what I say about chain of events? Uh, events change people's lives, not only mine, but everybody. Now, Wayne would never send me to Boston. Who just said there ever been a Source magazine or a Benzino? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But Benzino got down, and I'm saying Benzino, but when he got down with, him, with us, his name was Ray Dog. We call him Ray Dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that it would not, may not have ever happened, but I know for a fact that by Benzino being down with us, he had the street credibility that the man that had, was trying to start Source needed some street credibility, some, somebody that, because they were squeezy. And Benzino had a street credibility before by being with CBD. You know what I'm saying? And when I say CBD, Columbia Point Dogs, uh, 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 offspring of the YBI, I created CBD. You know what I'm saying? From Boston. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I say, a chain of events, man. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a decision can change a lot of people's lives. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I would never go to Boston, put it in a source magazine, or even a Benzino. You know what I'm saying? Papa, yes. When I was a young boy, growing up in the ghetto. Papa, yes.